Hello guys, in this video, we want to implement the loading. So when you're loading your data, you will see a loading like this. So follow me on this video if you like to know how. Okay, here is the roadmap for this lesson. Let's start by adding an image to use it as the indicator of the loading. It could be any image, but you need to remember its address. I want to copy mine from the explorer inside the assets folder with the name of loading.svg. If you want to use the same as me, you can find it on the comment link in the description below. Okay, close it. At the next step, I want to create the loading component for showing this image inside it. So from the terminal, select new terminal. Then go to the front-end folder and write NGGC for generating the component inside components folder, partials folder with the name of loading. Then press enter. Okay, the component is generated successfully. Let's close the terminal and check it out inside the explorer. SRC app, components, partials and loading. There we go. Now before working on the loading component, I want to work on the service because loading service will give us methods and observable for watching the loading state and changing the loading state. Let's implement it. So from the view menu, select terminal, then clear everything. So write NGGS for generating the service inside services folder with the name of loading, then press enter. As you can see, the loading service is generated. Let's go inside it. Close the terminal from the explorer, scroll up, open up the services and loading service. Here at the top, I want to define a private local variable with the name of is loading subject. That is equal to new behavior subject with the value of Boolean. And its default value is false because the loading is by default false. By using this is loading subject, all the classes that are using this loading service would be informed about the state of the loading. I want to add two methods here. Very, very simple. The first method is show loading. Inside it, we just set this dot is loading subject with the next value of true. So anybody who's listening to this subject will be notified that the loading is true. And another method for hide loading that we do exactly the opposite with the value of false inside the next. Super, super simple. One for showing the loading and the other one for hiding the loading. We can also make this is loading subject as public, but that's not the good idea because it breaks encapsulation of the class. So it is always a good idea to expose methods for the behaviors that you want to be done inside your class. So by getting an instance of loading service and calling the show loading, it will be shown by calling the hide loading, it will be hidden. At last, I want to define a getter for is loading that is of type observable. By returning the subject as observable, we can make sure that nobody can change its value from the outside. So it will be just a read only method. So write get is loading and inside the function just return this dot is loading subject dot as observable. Very good. The loading service is ready. Let's go and use it inside the loading component. Close it and go to the explorer and open up the loading component.ts file. Here I want to define the local field for using it inside the HTML file. So create a field with the name of is loading. It is required and set it to Boolean. Inside the constructor, inject the loading service. So write loading service with the type of loading service. Then inside the constructor, write loading service dot is loading, that is our observable, and subscribe to it, that gets is loading value. And inside the function, it sets this dot is loading equal to is loading that's coming from the service. So this local is loading by using this will be always synced with the loading service. This is all we need to do here. Now let's jump to the loading component HTML file for showing the loading. Clear everything here. 
pretty good here just like other places we want to create a div with a class of container but we need to set an ngf here that is equal to is loading now add another div with a class of details here we just have an image with the src that is equal to slash assets slash loading dot svg and an h1 with the value of loading dot 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 now we want to use this app loading inside the root component of our project so from the explorer open up the app component and here use app dash loading so now we just added the loading to the root component that is app dash component but it is invisible by default let's close this and go inside the constructor and call loading service dot show loading now if we go to the browser and refresh the page we can see we have this loading at the top of the header obviously it shouldn't be like this but first of all let's give it some style and put it on the middle so inside the code go to the loading component css file and for the container class set its position to fixed its width to 100 percent its height to 100 percent background color to hashtag fff fff that is white and for its alpha use ea use z index of 10,000, a big number because we want the loading to be on the front of everything. Set top to zero and left to zero too. For the details class, use display of flex, position of relative and flex direction, column and justify content of center. Set its height to 80% and its width to 100%. For the image, I want to show beautiful border bottom, so border bottom, 10 pixel, solid, and brown. And for the H1 that holds the loading text, I want its color to be brown and text transform to be lowercase. So the text will be shown in lowercase. Okay, let's check out the result. Oh, <laughs> it is too huge. Let's limit the width and height of the image. I want to set the width of the image to 200 pixels and its height again to 200 pixels. Now let's check it out. As you can see, the size is okay, but it should be on the middle. Let's fix the details class. Here, for now, we don't need the relative position. We have justify content. We also need align items equal to center. Let's check out the result. As you can see, we have the loading on the middle beautifully. Now let's go inside the code and inside the loading component TypeScript file. Let's remove this show loading from the constructor. Now there shouldn't be any loading and there isn't. So there's a question. How can we handle showing and hiding the loading? The first way and the not efficient way is to go on each component that has a connection with the server. For example, home component that loads the tags and the foods, page component that shows the food, but this is not efficient. I found a very simple way to do it and it's using the interceptors. Angular has a great way of intercepting the request and intercepting means staying between server and client and seeing all the requests that goes to the server we can stay there we can start loading when there is a request and we can stop it when all requests get finished but first of all let's generate the interceptor now close everything that is related to the loading we don't want to touch them for now we want to add an interceptor. So from the view menu, select terminal. Here we need to write ngg interceptor. For generating an interceptor, inside shared folder, interceptors folder with the name of loading. Then press enter. Okay, it is generated. Let's close the terminal and go to the explorer. Here we need to go to the shared folder and interceptors folder. 
there we have this loading interceptor i know it is a little bit complex but it is super super simple now we can see what request we are sending to the server and what is the next thing that needs to happen first of all i just want to show an alert to show you how it works so right alert i'm interceptor okay now if we look at the browser and if we refresh the page nothing will happen because we just made the interceptor we need to add it to the module in the way that i tell you right now come back to the code and from the explorer open app.module here at the line that we are importing http client module we need to put a comma and write http underline interceptors then we need to scroll down to the providers part and we need to press enter we need to add an object we need to set its provide equal to http interceptor that we imported seconds ago and it has a use class and for the use class we need to use the class name that is loading interceptor and press control dot or command dot to import it here and set its multi property to true so this is how we add an interceptor now if we come back to the user we can see that we have i am interceptor alert at the top so let's go back and handle the loading inside it close the app module and inside the intercept method remove the alert here outside of the class i want to define a global variable with the name of pending requests that is equal to zero by default we use this variable to handle multiple requests that goes to the server because we don't want to show loading multiple times on a single page so we show the loading and when all the pending requests are finished then we hide the loading here inside the class let's inject the loading service so write private loading service with the type of loading service and here inside the intercept method we want to use the loading service to show the loading so use this dot loading service dot show loading after showing the loading we increase the number of pending requests so make it equal to pending requests plus one its name should be pending requests okay very good here if we have observable with the type of http event so we can pipe it with the tap function from rxjs and we can use its output without changing its values for the happy part of the request that will be done inside the next method we get an http event at the first line of this function we write if event dot type is equal to http event type dot response that means the request is finished then we call this dot handle hide loading now let's make this handle hide loading method here write handle hide loading at the first line we need to do exactly the opposite of this we need to decrease the pending requests by one then we need to check if pending requests are equal to zero then we need to call this dot loading service dot hide loading super super simple but what about the unhappy part we need to add another handler here for error we don't want to touch the error here so we put an underscore and inside it we write this dot handle hide loading so it will call the same method it will decrease the pending request and if it was the last request it will hide the loading now let's go and see it inside the browser let's refresh the page as you can see we have the loading if we go to the main page we see the loading longer because we have two things that need to come from the server okay this was for this session on the next session we want to work on the checkout page so when you click here you will be redirected to the checkout page that we are going to make in the next session you've been watching code with nasir and i hope to see you next time